Hello, bleepers. How the devil are you? I hope that you're well and good. Look at that over there. Look, there's the wet thing. That big wet thing over there. It's the sea. Ah, uh, well, things have been unfortunately a, a wee bit heavy in Land of the Bleeps the last uh, couple of weeks. Um, that rhymes. I'm a poet, and I didn't know it. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been quite heavy, unfortunately. So I want to get my I want to get my teeth into a brand new challenge. So I've created the ultimate beach challenge. <laughs> okay, so I did uh, one of these a couple of years ago, didn't I? And back then, the challenge was to see if I could buy, get enough money from beach detecting to buy a mid-range metal detector in a year. And um, I did it kind of flippantly. I wasn't really that into it. Uh, and we covered that. We did it. I got a couple of bits of jewellery, I believe. And yeah, we definitely covered it. But this time, I'm going to take it a few steps further. Uh, and I want to go for a e-track. I want to upgrade. I feel like it's time for an upgrade. I love my C-scope metal detectors. I think they're brilliant and I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend them as well. But uh, I want to go into the big boys league now. So I'm looking for a e-track or a dais. Now an e-track and a dais at Joan Allen, um, they're about £1,200, which is about, I don't know what estimate, I'd say about $2,000. And that's what I'm going to try and achieve on the beach this year. Now, do I think I can do it? No, I haven't got a bloody chance. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a good go. I'm going to give it a really good go. Okay, last time I did it flippantly, but I'm going to make a conscious, concerted effort this time to do this properly. <laughs> oh, God, what have I got myself into here? <laughs> anyway, okay. Um... I, I, I don't have lots of time. I run my own business. Um, I work and I have a family, but I am going to make an effort to get out more than I did last time so I can try and make more. So I need to be pulling in about three times the amount than I did last time. Ooh, good Lord. What have I done? What have I done? Anyway, come on. Let's be, let's stay positive. Okay. So you guys can get involved in this as well. You can get involved. Um, we're gonna it's a year okay a year to make one thousand two hundred pounds or two thousand dollars or whatever that converts to in in other monetary values around the world okay we're gonna try and make that and see if i can get an e-track or a dais there are rules however well a couple of pointers i've made for myself um such as such as I'm going to do monthly update videos, okay? So once a month there will be a video saying how much that I've made or what I found in the previous video. I won't just do videos um, of me detecting all the time because they'll probably be really, really dull. Because let's face it, um, you can go down on the beach for four hours and get 20p and it's really frustrating and annoying and it doesn't make a good video. Okay, I'm only going to stay in a seven mile radius of where I live because there's no point in wasting petrol money driving to places. It kind of defeats the point of the, um, the, the whole idea and the ethos of the thing. So seven mile radius from the point I live. So if you're going to do the detecting challenge as well uh, and you live, that's not fair actually. Um, because not everybody lives next to the beach like me. So you, you guys scrap that one. Okay, uh, food, 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 food. I'm going to have to buy food on a budget, cheap, horrible food, because again, I don't want to be wasting money. Um, food, obviously, doing stuff like this, you're out three, four, five hours. It takes a lot of energy and uh, it's hard work and you need food and you need things, you need sustenance to keep your body uh, strength. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get that on a budget, okay? Um, only beach metal detecting counts. Only being on the beach counts for this one, my friends, uh, I, I am afraid. Okay, um, any fines go towards the ultimate beach challenge, the, the end goal. So um, any jewellery. Or lead weights, lead weights, perfect example. Um, or any other scrap that we can um, cash in. Right, okay, so this challenge starts on May the 1st, 2014 and runs to May the 1st, 2015. That's our year. Um, I'm going to be using the C-Scope CS4PI for this. Well, I've let myself, what have I let myself in for on this one, huh? <laughs> but anyway, um, it's going to be fun. Uh, there's going to be some stories to be told, I believe, at the end of it. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not that optimistic. <laughs> but anyway, um, I hope you join me, and I hope you enjoy the videos that come from it, my friends. You take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.